Maruti's answer to a lifestyle vehicle that does it all, from the city, the urban jungle, all the way to having some fun and frolic out in the open expanses that India offers you. It's got, it's got power, it's got efficiency. You tend to push yourself. This is a vehicle that takes it. When you look at it, you instantly know it's on a completely new platform. This is a true blue crossover. This is the answer. This is the S-Cross. Getting straight down to the point, what do you feel about the design? Well, first and foremost, when you look at it, you instantly know that this isn't a hatchback which has grown up. You know, it's not a hatchback which has been raised up and made to look like a crossover. This is a true blue crossover. And it's exemplified in the fact that Maruti Suzuki states it's on a completely new platform. And that to me is the quintessential bit about the S-Cross. When you look at the design elements, there's so much detail happening all around. And especially in the headlight section of it, you've got the HID projectors, you've got the LED lamps, you've got the turn indicators, and you've got a whole lot of contours around it. You've got this wonderful grill, you've got these kit plates at the bottom, you've got chrome garnish all over. On the side, you've got these creases. On the back, you've got those wonderful tapering tail lights. I mean, they've really put a lot of thought into this vehicle. Well, that's right, Munster. You know, it's a great looking car. We've had it for a couple of days. I absolutely love the white stance. And the other thing that I like is it's functional on the exterior as well. You've got these great roof rails. That's right. You can rack up anything on there. You can put a luggage box up there. You can put a cycle rack up there. And you can just go driving around wherever you want with whatever you need. Speaking about that, you've also got the space on the inside to take along whoever you need. That's right. So let's uh, get in and take a look at the interiors. And it's a nice plush feeling. It is. It actually feels very premium, like I said earlier. It's, it's very luxurious, in fact, very well appointed. I'm just loving the way the dashboard is laid out. And, and the quality of the materials is fabulous. I'm really kicked about the way that they've done this entire integration of the infotainment system. The screen's nice, you can read it, and it's easy to use, really nice to touch. There's a definite touch of class to everything. It's, it's got everything you need. It's got uh, the steering model controls for the music system. It's got uh, Bluetooth, power windows, climate control, loads of space, may I add. Uh, a sunglass holder up here as well. Speaking about sitting and the posture, one thing that's great about the s -Cross, you don't sit low like how you sit in a sedan. You're sitting up, a little more upright, like an SUV. You even have that sort of uh, presence and that view to the road. And because of that upright seating, I'm able to sit very comfortably. You've got this awesome steering wheel. You can adjust it for rake and reach. Right? So that means getting your perfect driving position is also sorted. A lot of people will be spending their time in the rear seat as well. Let me tell you that the rear seat is extremely comfortable. It's wide enough to fit three adults. Though you have a slight bit of a contour in the middle, but for two adults, it's extremely comfortable. Lots of space. And Marty Suzuki has given this one wonderful feature uh, for reclining the back of the rear bench. The, the, the seat, uh, in fact, uh, can have a 60-40 split as well. Absolutely. So you've got a nice big trunk and uh, with the 60-40 split, you can sort of customize the space that you require. Go all the way, it sort of flat bends completely out, you get a ton of boot space. So we're on the road with the S-Cross and uh, like you said, it comes with the DDIS uh, 320 of this particular one, which is the 1.6 liter diesel engine. Uh, what's so special about this one, Vikram? Firstly, it's a 1.6 DDIS. I think that says a lot. We've, we've come to learn to love the 1.3 DDIS, which incidentally now will be going by the new nomenclature, which is the DDIS 200. And uh, refined engine, smooth engine. All that carries over, you feel that same trait, super smooth. There are times that you don't realize that you're driving a diesel, especially when it's nice and spooled up. It just rockets through. You do have a bit of turbo lag in the initial phases, kicks in at about 1800 RPM. It's one characteristic of diesel engines that uh, Marty Suzuki has done away with is the harshness coming out from the engine. They've used pendulum mounts for the engine in the engine bay, which means it vibrates less in there. It's also got an auto-adjusting clutch. I'm sitting here in the passenger seat and compared to other diesels, I can't make out that this is a diesel. It, it almost feels like a petrol. It's as refined as except for when you floor that pedal and it, the turbo kicks in and you can just get pinned to your seat when you're driving it. 
Uh, the performance is really great. It's putting out what about 320 newton meters and 120 PS of power. In a nutshell, uh, Vikram, about the engine itself, would you say that this has to be the natural choice for enthusiasts and people who like to drive cars? Absolutely. When you're looking at something like the S-Cross and you're looking at a lifestyle vehicle, performance is part of that. It's a, it's a definite part of that package. And this engine delivers on that account. And I think there, Maruti has gotten it spot on by bringing in the 1.6. power it's got efficiency what about the way it drives the handling the feel what do you think about that now everything that's been done with the s-cross sort of seems to complement each other so the 1.6 liter engine bringing in the performance element a slick six speed giving you the right gear at the right time keeping you in the peak power band when you want to be there plus also aiding you in the efficiency element and when you come to the drive dynamics of this vehicle a standout feature it's spot on. The steering is so nice, uh, not just to hold, but the feedback, uh, doing the twisties, you know, through the mountains, through uh, up a nice hilly road. The car is a lot of fun. And as far as ride comfort is concerned, this is where the whole crossover concept makes so much sense. Because you're not getting the jarring ride of an SUV. It's not a bouncy, bumpy ride. You're not getting tossed around because of the high uh, ground clearance and the high you know, center of gravity on the vehicle. You're nice and low, it's comfortable, it's smooth, it's slick. You could sometimes mistake yourself for being in a regular sedan, but at the end of the day, what you have is a vehicle that's delivering and complementing itself across all these features. You said, does it stop on time? Yeah, you get on the brakes, she holds the line, there's no fear. And that so, I believe is a lot to do with the fact that uh, all four wheels come with disc brakes. And of course, uh, Marty Suzuki's added on uh, all the all the three-letter uh, acronyms that you'd want to associate <laughs> with safety. safety in there. You've got ABS, you've got all of that. You've got airbags as well. And that really is the sort of uh, line of thought that Maruti Suzuki is putting into the S-Cross. It's very premium. They're giving all of the gadgets in his boss. It looks good from the outside. It looks good from the inside. It's got loads of space. And uh, now, as you tell it, uh, it's great to drive as well. Absolutely. Summing it up, about the S-Cross, Maruti Suzuki is all set to create a new segment, the segment of the full-blown crossover. But that's not just it. We also have the element of Nexa. That's correct. Uh, well, this is a bit of a surprise that Maruti Suzuki is throwing in, starting off with the S-Cross and uh, going forward onto other models as well. Uh, it's a whole new way of buying a Maruti Suzuki. Uh, they call it the Nexa experience and what it entails is basically a whole new type of uh, dealership uh, experience. All the way from the ambience when you walk in to the way you're treated at, at the counter itself to the fact that you're appointed a lifetime service uh, relationship manager. The S-Cross aims to fulfill a dual purpose of being your everyday car and a lifestyle vehicle. It's well appointed, has good engine options, and technically establishes a new product segment. However, its fate depends on how well it can hold its own against the compact SUVs and larger hatchbacks in the market.